Hello viewers, welcome to 2017. Uh, 2016 was a great year, thank you for all your views, subs and comments. Uh, very, very much appreciated. Hopefully 2017 will be even better. So I've been away over the Christmas period, seeing relatives and doing all that, um, that kind of thing. I had a delivery and I've just gone and picked it up from the post office and it's been waiting there for me. And it is, at last, the fabled batterizer. Yes, they fin finally delivered. Now, if you're not aware of the batterizer debacle, epic story, whatever you want to call it, you, you, you must have been under a rock or something, uh, because it was actually it was a really, really big story uh, back in 2015 and 2016, because it has taken that long to get this stuff um, actually shipped and delivered to uh, the backers. Now, if you want to read up about everything that's happened, there's a fantastic thread on the EV blog. Uh, you can go there to read up through the 300 plus pages um, about the uh, Bataru or Batterizer. Uh, they had to rename it. Yeah, that's another one of the interesting things that happened. Uh, so the link to that will be down in the description. Now, uh, Dave Jones of the EV blog has, uh, and several others I should point out, that uh, have already done some uh, pretty comprehensive testing on the Batterizer, or the Bataru as it's now known, uh, debunking this um, as a battery life extender. So I wasn't intending to do much of my own testing. So what I'm going to do here is a quick unboxing. We'll have a look at the these Batterizer things. Um, and then I'll see what you guys think I should do with them. Um, in here, there should be eight of the double A size. Uh, so I will have a fair few to go around. So I don't know, maybe if somebody wants to do their own testing, I, I can make these available. Um, anyway, uh, we'll get these unboxed. And uh, if you've got any thoughts on what I should do with them, um, then leave those in the comments. So this is the box they come shipped in, uh, pretty plain packaging with Bataru written on it. Um, it looks like these have shipped from the United States possibly, but it there is um, a Swedish mark there, so don't know. Um, so these, there's a letter in here, just probably kind of, I guess you could call those instructions. Yeah, not really much on there. Just marketing bullshit. Uh, in here we have the batterizers. Uh, so these are a plastic case with um, a little cardboard thing around them. Oh, and it's, yeah, just let it shite really so here we are wow an actual batterizer <laughs> okay let's just have a quick look around the actual sleeve itself um, well, that's the back of it with batterizer written in obviously that's going to change in the future because they have renamed these to Bataru because of the Energizer lawsuit. So we have the top contacts there and the PCB element. And you can see some of the traces there. The, um, these little prongs have been raised as a potential issue because they are, they stick out and uh, will very likely stick into the springs that you normally find on battery connections in, in products. So. That's not looking very good, really. And then you should just be able to see the thickness of the PCB there. It's very, very, very thin. And in the base there, you can see the uh, components to make the uh, boost converter. Well, it's been potted in some kind of red goo, or it might actually be clear, but uh, the red... Um, paint is uh, actually just showing through and on the inside we have the negative battery terminal down at the bottom there so I am open to suggestions on these uh, what should I do with them should I uh, do a bit of testing on them abuse them blow them up what do you think leave the suggestions in the comments below